Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 92 of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we lost our frickin' Zora's tunic to a like-like, and now we're gonna see what's in this chest. What it could be. Can't wait. Oh my god. Look at me. Oh my god. Link, Link, you're so excited. You're so excited, you just can't hide it. Oh my god. <gasps> what? The golden gauntlets? You, f you can feel even more power coursing through your arms. Grab it, grab with A and lift stuff up. That's right. Another upgrade. For real. Um, there's actually a path here you can use. And, yep. So, basically, there are, now we can lift really big things. Like, honestly, when you see the kind of things that we can lift... And, oh yeah, my thing isn't going to be full here for the end of the game. Oh well. Yep. Like, when you see the kinds of things that Link can lift with those freaking golden gauntlets, you will be stunned out of your mind. Not stoned out of your mind. No, that's a different thing. Stunned. Anyways, just carefully walk along here and try not to fall at all. Is that And that rhymed? I seriously didn't mean it to. And, oh, this looks strange. Well, first let's break these pots, get some supplies. And we got arrows and magic, which means we're probably going to have to use our new item here. The light arrows. Ooh. Anyways, um, these things, these are basically the hearts of each of the barriers. And you want to hit each one with the light arrow when you get to it. So let's fire! Oh my god, poofy. And... Aw, oh, I expected it to explode and release green, green slime, just like Baronite. <gasps> Impa, what are you doing here? The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. Will do. And we get... We'll change it into a big purple thing, and we get thrust way back. Oh, yeah. I love that animation, by the way. Just like us getting thrown back to here. Well, not thrown back, but zoomed out back. And... That is one of six barriers down. But, anyways, um, before we actually continue with the next barrier, whichever one that we're gonna pick, um, we're gonna want to leave Ganon's castle for a minute. I, I mean, trust, trust me on this one. I just, I'm just gonna do it. I mean, you, you want to do this? Trust me. This is very, very helpful to you. Just gonna leave Ganon's castle. Avoid the Bemos. The Bemai. Is that what you would call plural Bemos? Bemoses? Be would it just be Bemos? I, I don't know. Let's not talk about that anymore. Anyways. Um, so yeah, you're probably wondering, wait, what are you doing? Why are you coming out here? Why are you going over here? There's nothing over here. We already got this sculpture, right? Yep. But, yeah. So, if you come over here, you actually see a freaking huge block right here. As you can see. And we can check this, and it's like, what the fuck? But if you approach it, what? You can grab this? Can we pull it? No. Better. Oh yeah. Look at that. And here he goes. Hiya! Boom! That is the power of the golden gauntlets right there. Yep. Link doesn't even break his sweat. <gasps> Great Fairy's Fountain. Another one? This is like the same location that we got Dint's Fire in, though. Ah, oh, gotta play Zelda's Lullaby again. No, no, no. Alright. I can use that to sync the videos now. Yay! And here's the final Great Fairy you will ever see. Thank God. Well, at least in this LP. Eh. And... Welcome, I am Great Fairy's Courage. I'm going to enhance your defensive power. Receive it now! What do you mean, my defensive power? You gonna give me another shield? Because that would be cool. Actually, no. She's gonna do me one better. Check this out. Now, all our hearts are outlined in, y in white. And that means... That means... <gasps> Your defensive power is enhanced. Well, I gathered that, but... Your defensive power has been enhanced. The damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. That's right. When battle means you win, please come back to see me. I think not. Thanks for the offer, though. 
It's been nice knowing you fairies. Well, not really, because you kind of creep me out, to be honest. But I'm gonna get out of here now. Run away, Link! But yeah. So now we. So now basically all attacks from anything do half damage to, to Link. Which is basically the equivalent of 40 hearts now that we have. So that is freaking awesome. Yes. It's just a shame that they wait until so late in the game to give this to you. Because you could really use this at certain other points in the game. That we've already passed now, but oh well. Anyways, now that we're done with that, um, I could I was debating in my mind on whether or not to go buy another Zoros tunic just to complete the game with a full equipment screen, but I decided not to. I'm I'm I showed you how to get it. You don't need to know again. Right, uh, let's just go in, I guess, a clockwise pat pattern now. Let's do it. First, the Spirit Temple Room. Ooh, this looks unpleasant. Okay, um, let's get out some bombs here. And, yeah, let's bomb these thing. This thing, the Beamos. Die, please. Thank you. Probably need my hook shot, too. You know, my hook shot, my long shot, rather. I always call it the hook shot for whatever reason. Come on, got this. Nice. Um, these guys, I'm just trying to leave them alone. Uh, I don't know if you can actually... Oh, these these guys are the immobile ones. So, yeah, see this one? This rec, per, silver rupee, um... You could move that statue out of the way and make this thing start bouncing, like, farther out. But I'm just gonna roll and get it. It's not too difficult. Same with this one. I don't even care if I take damage. Look, I took a quarter heart of damage from two hits. That's right. That makes perfect sense. And actually it does now that we have double defense power. Dude, these guys are supposed to be in this fire temple. We've discussed this before. I met you in the spirit temple already. Don't need to see you again. Anyways, um, you're probably wondering. Wait, wait, can I hit that? Yes, I can. Sweet. And what does that give us? It gives us... It gives us bomb true. What? Yep, and that's basically a hint as to what you're supposed to do in this room. Yes, I get it. I know what bomb shoes are for. So we're gonna get them out right now. We have 43. That should be enough. But if you look up there, you'll see that there's a gap in the thing for no apparent reason. But that is there for a reason. You wanna make a bomb shoe go through it and hit that switch over there. Ow! I guess I missed the hole. And just like went around behind me. That sucks. Oh wait, I think I got it. Yeah. See, it's not too difficult. Not too difficult at all. And anything over here? Uh, what's this? This is the path to proceed. Well, what was over here then? Nothing. Just a candle on a wall. Cool. Ah, okay. What? I see. Hmm. Yeah, I think the, f the first time I came to this room, like when I played through the game the first time, I I didn't realize that this was here to let the light in. And I tried, like, um. Like, what did I try doing? Ah, Wall Master's coming. Saw a shadow. But I, tr I tried shooting the Sons with the Light Arrows. I'm not sure if it actually worked or not. But, whatever. I, you know what? I'll try. Just to see where it gets me. Because if it. Didn't. If it doesn't work, then it must have figured it out eventually, but I don't think I was smart enough to figure it out. Okay, I guess I was smart enough to figure it out as a little kid. Because that doesn't work. Another wall master? Are you kidding me? I don't care about you. Go die in a hole, please. Please and thank you. Put away your big Goron sword, Link. Your big dick sword. Of course it would have to be the last one I check, wouldn't it? Yep. Oh jeez. Uh, I think this LP is probably going to be done around, I'm not sure, part 96 maybe? 97? Which is sooner than I expected, which is kind of good and bad. Because, I mean, it means that I did the game, like, fast and I'm good at the game, but it also means that the LP is about to finish. And that's no fun. So yeah. Deku nuts. Don't know what I'm going to use those for now, but let's fire! I'm a fire in my laser. That's right. Why is the arrow frozen in midair? 
See, like, right, right, it is frozen right next to the Buru. The spirit to sell bear is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. Don't call me a kid. I ain't your kid. And whoosh. And again, this animation is still awesome. Or that animation is still awesome. Spirit, spirit barrier? No, spirit barrier. Dispelled. Okay, so down here, this is going to be the light temple room that you can't actually go to until you've gotten this golden gauntlet from the shadow temple. Hey, you know what? Let's throw this at the barrier. Let's see if we can break the barrier with this thing. Hell yeah. Go Link! Oh. That barrier is stronger than I thought. Don't you just love it how all the pieces from the pillar just... They, they have nowhere to go, but they just fall onto the floor. Like, they fall through the floor. They're just that awesome. Some of them just disappear randomly. Um, hello. Oh, one of you. Okay. Hello. What's happening? Okay. Um, here's the gist of this place. You don't really need your lens of You could use it, but... On top of some of these chests are keys. You want to first kill the keys and then open the chests they're on top of. Yep. So you, you want to open the chests that are guarded by keys. Like, see this one, for example? There's no keys on top on top of it, and I just got hit by something. I guess a keys. But yeah, there's no keys on top of that one, so you don't want to open it. Otherwise, you'll probably be hurt or something by ice. Anyways, this one did have a keys on top of it. So... Blue rupee, grr! Shadow temple, bitch. And yep. Oh, what the hell? Didn't remember that. But I'm not gonna complain. Let's just see what's in here first. Probably arrows, right? Yep. How do I remember that? What the hell? Whatever. I got a small key. I was about to say a big key. There are no big keys in this game, you doofus. Uh-huh. Chests. Hidden chests. No, whatever. This is the most linear puzzle ever. Like, see Triforce on the ground? Play Zelda's lullaby? I assume that a chest with a key will come down? Uh, yep. And? This better be a key, I swear to god. Didn't miss one in the water temple, did I? That I would need here. That'd be so funny. And, oh, this looks great. Time Silver Rupee Challenge for the win. I assume this isn't too difficult. Oh, there was one there. Cool. Okay, is there one here? Yep. Just two more. One's right here. And the other one. Ow! Dick. What the? Did you see that? They rolled through each other. Well, I'll be... I'll be. And let's leave. What is this? Um, what? Where's the thing? Um, aha. You almost tricked me. I kind of forgot about that, but then I didn't. I'm not a silly Billy. You're a silly Billy. Anyway, it looks like this is going to be the last thing that we do in this episode. And we're gonna see another arrow there. It's inside Raru, I guess. And he's like, the light barrier is dispelled. Hurry! You just so you don't say like, hurry and see the princess. Hurry up, kid. Or that arrow's still there. Whatever. You just you're just like hurry. Yeah. Because I don't know you on a personal level like that, like all the other sages. Anyways, um, that's that. In the next episode. We're going to dispel the final three barriers, and then see what happens. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.